Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 29 of my RStudio tutorials here on YouTube. So first of all, if this video is helpful to you, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to make BuzzPSS grow as much as possible, so every subscription would be very much appreciated. So today we're going to have a second look at correlation. I already did that in episode 11, but today we're going to have another look at correlation, but this time at partial correlation. And what does partial correlation mean? Well, it means that you uh, search for the remaining correlation effect if you control for a third variable. So in other words, you're looking for the true correlation between two variables while controlling for a confounding variable. If you don't know what a confounder is, then check out my uh, confounder episode. I think it's episode 14, something like that, uh, on regression. It explains what confounders are. I'll explain it very shortly right now. We're looking at the true effect of ice cream consumption on sunburns. So if you eat more ice creams in the month, the amount of sunburns in the month you get will increase. But that's of course a very odd relationship because it shouldn't be that way. But actually, it, uh, but in first hand, if we would just do a correlation between ice cream and sunburn, we can do that. So first of all, we're going to install two packages, library library no why not just library library uh mass and also library uh uh pp core so those are the two packages which we want to install today if you don't know how to install a package then check out episode number one in which i explain it in more detail and, and now if we just want the correlation we just type core for the two uh for the two uh, variables which are ice cream and uh, ice cream and uh, also uh, sunburn. And if we would then look at the correlation in the bottom of our console screen, we would see that the correlation between ice creams and sunburns is 0 0.936, which is a very, very high correlation. But this, of course, doesn't make much sense, because if you eat ice creams, that shouldn't lead to you having more sunburns. That's quite odd. So if we look at the data set again, we can see that there's actually a confounding variable being temperature. Because if temperature increases, then the amount of ice creams you eat increases. And if the amount of temperature increases, your sunburn increases. Uh, so temperature is a confounding variable. So in this case, uh, ice cream, uh, uh, ice cream uh, is the independent variable. Sunburn is the dependent variable and temperature is the confounding variable. And now we want to do a partial correlation, so a correlation between ice cream and sunburn, in which we control for the confounding variable. We keep it neutral. So we go back to the source screen, and we type p core, uh, p core, which is really easy, p core, and then the data set we're using is confounder, and then a comma, and then the method is Pearson in this case. And then you press Ctrl Enter. And if you then go to the uh, console screen, you can see the new correlation. Uh, so the estimate uh, table, so the correlation table. And we can see that now the correlation between ice cream and sunburn, while we control for temperature, is only 0.12. So it's much, much lower. And if we look at its significance, the significance of this 0.12, so for ice cream to sunburn is 0.573, which is way more than the alpha of 0.05. So we can conclude that it is not a significant correlation. So that's basically how you do an, uh, uh, how you do a partial correlation. It's super easy. You just download these two packages and you type p core and then your uh, data set uh, which you want to view, uh, which you want the variables to be correlated, and then method is Pearson. That's it. It was really easy. I hope I helped you guys a bit. And for now, if this video was helpful to you, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And for now, guys, I see you on the next episode. Ciao.